Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Moz. Welcome to Wacky Worms. Today we've got a wacky worm for you. It's the Brazilian skipper or the Canna skipper, Calpotes Ethlius. I think you're gonna like this one. The Brazilian skipper is pretty easy to identify in South Florida. It's a large skipper, almost two inches in wingspan, and it's got on the hind wing and the forewing these translucent windows uh, that are very indicative of that species. You really can't mix them up with any other species. Pretty easy to tell apart. For a larval host plant, the Brazilian skipper uses plants in the canna lily family. Uh, a lot of people will go to a hardware store and these gardening departments and find these great beautiful canna lilies and bring them home and plant them just to find out that a month later there are these big worms that just totally destroy their canna lilies. Well, that's the Brazilian skipper, guys. Uh, there's a native canna lily species. The, the flower's a lot less impressive, but it's a pretty common plant and a lot of the, it lives right in the water on the edges of canals and things like that and lakes in South Florida and the swamps and so on. And the Brazilian skippers, they are very common and very localized surrounding their host plant. You're not gonna find them in a whole lot of different habitats, only where their host plant exists. Probably the coolest thing about the Brazilian skipper is the caterpillar. We'll get there in a second. When the egg hatches, the caterpillar uh, hatches out, it immediately creates a tent out of the leaves and, and most skipper species will do this. They'll actually cut a piece of the leaf off and fold it over and make a little housing and seal the housing for themselves with uh, silk. And they'll just leave a little hole for their head to pop out and they'll actually the, just the head is what comes out of the hole and it, it feeds on the leaves right around the outside of its housing so that it keeps itself hidden. And if, you know, as it's feeding, if something is to fly by or approach it, it zips down inside of its little uh, tent very quickly. Pretty cool. Caterpillars, if you were to pull that little tent apart, caterpillars are super cool. Their skin is completely transparent. I mean, you can see everything inside of the body of a Brazilian skipper larva. Uh, everything from the venation, you can see where the, the little sphericals uh, take in oxygen and feed the uh, respiratory system. You can see the little heart sloshing the blood back and forth and you can see, gross enough, the entire digestive system in action uh, just by looking on the outside of a live uh, Brazilian skipper caterpillar. Very cool, and that's a big caterpillar. They're, they're like a white creamish color with a, a yellow head and um, they are ferocious eaters. They eat a lot of those canna lily leaves. And then when they pupate, again, they'll, they'll make a tent for themselves just like they do in the caterpillars and they'll pupate right inside one of those tents, seal it with silk. And when the skipper emerges, uh, it flies away there. The chrysalis is green. It's got one of these little horns, uh, kind of typical of a lot of skipper species. And it has a little girdle, a silk girdle that it attaches itself to the leaf with. Uh, pretty cool, the skippers, like most skippers, the Brazilian skipper is a very powerful, fast flyer. And when they are on a mission, you know, it's like a zip. You know, it's very difficult to uh, follow once they're on the wing. But observing them in the wild is pretty easy because all you gotta do is find some wild canna lilies and just observe. And for most, most part of the year, you can see females floating around laying eggs. Uh, males are very territorial. They'll find a patch of canna lilies and they'll sit there and wait for females to uh, emerge. And while they're waiting for the girls, anything that flies into that area, the, the Brazilian skipper attacks it with a fury defending its territory. So it's a cool bug. I love seeing these guys in nature. I love seeing how big their head is compared to the rest of their body. Uh, it almost seems like it's abnormally sized, but uh, here nor there. The proboscis is another cool thing. The proboscis of this skipper is actually as long as the entire rest of the body. So imagine your tongue being as uh, you know five, six feet long in comparison. Uh, pretty cool bug. Uh, but that's about all the time we've got for today. We would love for you to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us there. Uh, we post regularly. Subscribe to our channel because we've got plenty more Wacky Worms videos 
just like this one, and we're gonna share with you all the information on how to find the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Uh, we would like if you give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and uh, until next time, enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there.